Hey guys, just wanted to put out a quick video to tell you about the Nerva GUI. Uh, it works, and I want to show you all about it. Come on. Okay, so the last video, I just quickly mentioned that I didn't think the Nerva GUI worked, and then I said it did work. I just didn't know. I played with it once and, and just had some troubles with it. Uh, the guys on the Discord channel, the Nerva Discord channel, helped me out. Great guys. Um, and so I just wanted to throw out a quick uh, video to set the record straight. If you go to downloads, there's a new one out, 21 beta, uh, 0021 beta, beta 2. That might be newer than what I have actually. So um, this is for Windows. You're going to click GUI. Um, you're going to download it. It's going to pop up somewhere in your thing. You're going to open it up. Nerva GUI 21 Windows download. You unzip it. All right. So you're going to open up this folder. Magnify this a little bit for you. Um, and so you got all these files, and here's your Nerva Toolkit.exe. You'll double click that. You'll probably get an error. Now, if you if you double click it and nothing seems to happen, you double click it again and nothing seems to happen. That's because you're probably getting some crashes, some exceptions. So there's a log in here uh, that you can just double check. App.log. It's a text file, so it's just a plain text. Just open it up how you would any other text file. Uh, open. Uh, I don't remember if your first time if you have to tell what to open with, but if not, if you vote, if not, just if you do, just open it with a notepad. It's it's just a text file, and when you open it, you'll see your exceptions, which this you won't see it on mine now because I'm not getting exceptions. But you'll see an exception, and it'll most likely tell you that Angry Wasp Serializer DLL or whatever DLL it tells you, uh, it'll say it. It'll just give you an error on that. And it's because it's being blocked. So you'll want to go down to uh, unblock and unblock it. It's a it's a DLL from third party from Angry Wasp and it doesn't know what to do with it. And so it may be blocking it. It's probably what it's doing. That's why it can't load it. Uh, so you'll just want to do unblock, hit apply, hit OK, and then you'll be fine. So you'll open up your Nerva toolkit. And make sure you shut down your other daemon. Um, so this will actually run the its own daemon when you first run it it'll say oh you don't have cli tool or when you first install it it'll say oh i don't have you don't have cli tools so it'll put all this, the command line inner tools command line interface tools that you have probably in another folder if you followed my last video um so it's all it's just doing it in this in this one as well but it knows where to find your blockchain it'll go get your blockchain it'll start the daemon and it's a nice little toolkit it's a nice little gui if you didn't want to if you didn't want to use the uh the uh, command line interface tools. You'll notice the, da the daemon's running. Uh, it'll have your wallet in here. Um, now, if you followed my last video and you created your own wallet in a different uh, folder, you'll want to go to that folder and grab the, the keys and the wallet file and bring them over and copy them in. Uh, and then you'll choose a wallet. So you go to wallet, select, open. You'll see a drop down. If you, if you install this application, You'll probably install it with some sort of a wallet just to get through the installation process. But if you did my last video, you'll have another wallet you might want to go over and get. So you'll probably have a drop down when you paste that into here and you'll paste it into the wallets folder, right? You'll know you'll have a bunch of, you'll have a keys file and you'll have a wallet file and you'll have multiples for different wallets. That's why when you get on the app and you go to wallet, um, ugh. When you get on the app and you go to wallet, you'll see a drop down and you'll have multiple wallets. Just pick the wallet you want uh, and type in the password. Um, but what might have happened in the process if you installed it and you just made up a wallet to get through the installation process, uh, when you go to toggle miner, because you can mine, which is this is another thing I really like about the GUI, is that you don't have to set up a batch file uh, like I showed on my last video. You can mine straight from the, this uh, application. When you toggle miner, You'll probably see the wrong address in here. Uh, this is for the one that you just made up when you installed it, but may, you might want it for the one that you've been using for a while and have some coins on. So let me show you how to do that. You go to File, Preferences. There's uh, some nice little um, tabs here. General Damon Wallet. You'll go to um, Wallet and blah, 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 blah. That's, is this what I want? No, here what? You want a Damon tab. Um, and here's the mine app, just change it in here. And here you can change your number of CPUs for threading. And I wouldn't mess with that unless you know what you're doing. Stop the daemon on GUI X. There's a lot of cool little preferences in here. Wallet path, CLI tools. Um, yeah. 
as far as I can think of, that's about. I don't. I haven't really used charts, uh, so it looks like this is my my hash per second, probably. Uh, so I'm doing about 310 hashes. Um, okay. Uh, transfers, uh, balances, and daemon and balance height of the blockchain. Blah blah blah. Very nice. Here's their Discord, their Reddit, their Twitter. About man, I love these guys. I love their Discord channel. I love I love the community. Uh, the dev, the dev, z seem pretty awesome. I know the Angry Wasp is the lead dev, and then there's a couple other guys that have been super helpful with some other stuff I've been dealing with. And um, yeah, holler at me if you have any questions. If I got anything wrong, let me know. Sub, hit the bell. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Peace.